Hi everyone, this is Hayden from Altus One, and today we're going to be talking about ratios. This is a little bit more of a difficult topic, so we're going to do some practice questions so you guys get a good handle on it. Ratios are essentially our way of describing the quantity of something compared to something else. So in this example, I have six blue blocks for every two yellow blocks. I can simplify that down to three blocks for every one yellow block. Therefore, our way of describing the ratio of blue blocks to yellow blocks is 3 to 1. Let's have a look at this practice question. There is a total of $300 comprising of $1 coins, $2 coins and $5 notes. The ratio of the number of $1 coins to $2 coins to $5 notes is 1 to 2 to 5. So for every dollar coin, there are two $2 coins and there are five $5 notes. So. This ratio is a simplified ratio of the total ratio which adds up to $300. It's kind of like a mini ratio. So within this mini ratio, there is one $1 coin with a value of $1, two $2 coins with a value of $4, and five $5 notes, which is $25. If I add that up, that equals to $30. So within this mini simplified ratio, I have $30. When I divide 300, by 30, I can find how many of these mini ratios there are in the total ratio which adds up to $300, and that's 10. So there are 10 of these mini ratios. So if I'm trying to find the number of $2 coins, and I know that there are 10 ratios, and for each ratio there are two $2 coins, I can multiply 10 by 2 to equal 20, which tells us that there are 20 $2 coins, so B. Let's have a look at this question. A school consists of boys and girls in the ratio four to three. So there are four boys for every three girls. If there are 560 students in the school, find how many boys there are in the school. So this four to three ratio, I'm gonna treat it as a simplified mini ratio that when added up with other ratios, adds up to the total number of students. So when there are seven kids, four plus three, in one mini ratio, I can divide the total number by the number of mini ratios which gives me 80. That tells me there are 80 of these four to three ratios which add up to the 560 students. So similar to the past question, I'm gonna take the number of mini ratios, I have 80 times that four for the number of boys in one mini ratio, which equals 320, which tells me the number of boys in the school. All right, now this question states, that a rectangular prism has dimensions of 5 cm by 6 cm by 10.5 cm. There is also a cube with a side length of 7 cm. Express the volumes of the rectangular prism and cube as a ratio in B to C, where B and C represent the volumes of the rectangular prism and cube respectively. Keep the ratio in whole numbers. So, the volume of the rectangular prism is length times width times height. So, 5 times 6 times 10.5 is equal to 315 centimeters squared. The cube has a side length of seven centimeters. Now, a cube is like a square, but 3D, and it has equal side length. So, length times width times height, seven times seven times seven equals 343 centimeters squared. Now, we need the ratio in B to C, where it's a rectangular prism to a cube. So. 315 to 343. If we look at the answers, what this answer is not one of the options. So we know that we have to simplify it to get the right answer. If we simplify it, we get 45 over 49, which is A. So here are some tips for you to tackle some of these ratio questions. Remember, ratios represent parts of a whole. So if you're given a smaller ratio, like the ones we saw today, with one, two, and five for a total of $300, you can assume that it's a mini ratio, a simplified version of the bigger ratio. So you can divide the total by the, the mini ratio's total parts. You know, we added the one, two, and five, and that'll give you the number of mini ratios, which you can then multiply by each number in the ratio to find the total amount. Also, don't forget to simplify your ratios. Sometimes you'll be given the larger ratios like you saw today, 315 to 343. You need to simplify to 45 to 49. It's a crucial but often forgotten step. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let us know if there are any topics you'd like to see. Have a great day.